Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, say it with me now, you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Woohoo! Oh, we're excited about this one. Got some, got some cool stuff. We have some exciting products for this edition of Friday's Finds. So let's let's get to doing some unboxing. And we're gonna we're gonna be working in here in the no fly zone. So you can see that's probably not the best name for it because the flies are still coming in. But we're not getting too many inside, which is the whole purpose of this. They seem to congregate out here on the on the mesh. So I'm I'm not doing an unboxing. But I am going to include in the, the the Friday's Finds shopping list. So if this is your first visit to the Dude RV channel and specifically the Friday's Finds show, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with a small channel. Post a comment. Tell me what you like best about the Friday's Fine Show and what kind of products you like to see reviews of. It really helps with a small channel. So all of the products that you'll see today, with one exception, they are available on Amazon and there'll be a link in the cards above and in the description below. You gotta click the little more button down there to open that up. Click that link. That will that will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear Recommendations Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. Now I'm not going to be doing an unboxing, but I got I, I've I've been out here, living out here for living out here for a month, and the flies have been a non-stop. Actually bugs in general mosquitoes gnats the gnats were horrible the flies would drive the little black dog crazy but i have found that this fly paper it, it, as you see it's it's just covered in flies you lay it on a flat surface and the flies will just and over that's that's like 24 hours worth of flies it's like it's crazy. So I'll, I'll include that it doesn't cost very much, but very cost effective solution. When it comes to the biting bugs, the no see that you, you can't see these little things, this, you, they bite you and the bite is actually worse than a mosquito bite. And I've worked and I've used a lot of different stuff, but I have found that these coils, work pretty well i mean it's it's let me open this up so you can see what it looks like that's what it looks like it's just a coil it's an incense burner citronella lemongrass and basil blend and that keeps seems to keep the biting insects away it doesn't do a anything for the flies but we're no longer getting bit by the the no out here no matter what the time of day is i've, I've always I, I leave that burning all day because one of, one of one of those coils will burn for about eight hours we need to walk out here we're homesteading out here in east texas and we did a, a major construction project now, when we first got the place, I threw out just the lowest price seed, Bermuda grass seed I could get to hold the sand in place. And it's been kind of struggling. I wanted I want a different kind of grass though. And my favorite Texas grass or my favorite plains grass is buffalo grass. So when I need grass seed, I always reach out to Frontier Seeds. They have sent us a box. If you want to know more about Frontier Seeds, post a comment down there and we will get you in touch with somebody that can hook you up with some seed. This is 
special for deer. That's the <laughs> That's the Sundance. So here's their contact information. There's a phone number right there that you can give a call to. If you need seed, that's who you call. So there's, we're going we're gonna to be doing a little seed spreading today. Which means we're going to need to irrigate the seeds. Now this is not a sponsored item. This is something that I went out and found. Because the buffalo grass is a drought tolerant, we don't need an irrigation system. I don't want to put in an irrigation system, but to get the seed started, we need to irrigate. And so I went with the most cost effective means that I could find. And it actually got a little damp. But this is a kit. It's a hundred feet of hose, irrigation hose, staples, gaskets, everything we need to put out a temporary irrigation system. So we'll be putting out some seed, then we'll put out some irrigation. Moving right along. You know, I've, I've been making a whole lot of ice cream. Oh, did I mention I live full-time in a motorhome? So space is always at a premium. So uh, I've been using these plastic measuring cups. I don't know where we got them. They take up a lot of room in the drawer. So I went looking for something that was a little more RV friendly. That brings us to the collapsible silicone measuring cups and measuring spoons. Let's take a look at this. For my ice cream production. Oh, I like that. That's going to be way better. Check that out. Quarter, third, half, and one. I like that. And they come apart really easy. Not having to fight with that ring thing. That is cool. It's adult proof packaging. And those are, these are not collapsible, but they are stackable. Check that out. like it like it like it a lot i'll add this to the friday's finds list all right let's move right along we have we have some sponsored products to check out the kitchen salt and pepper mill gotta have a lot gotta have salt gotta have pepper this would make a Excellent gift for a newlywed couple. Oh, that's beautiful. They are rechargeable. Need to get some granulated salt. Instructions. Oh, a little cleaning brush. And two recharge, two cables to recharge. I love that look. That is so beautiful. Yep, you're gonna like that too. So I need to get some granulated salt and peppercorns so we can see them in operation we have a, a new new channel a new sponsor this is from Daitoli Daitoli 
in case you don't know I have a I have a hearing issue and I also we live full-time in a motorhome and my wife works online full-time at the dinette so if I'm gonna be in there watching TV or or working on the computer I have to use headsets uh, and even if she's not working, it's often, it's, it's difficult for me to understand because of my hearing loss. Uh, I have to have the TV really loud, otherwise they're just mumbling. This is going to be a game changer. It's the Bluetooth headphone with a transmitting charger dock. Oh, look at that. And they fold up compact. So you have left and right. We have audio cables. Because there's several different ways to connect it. And then we have the charging dock. That also is the Bluetooth broadcast. So I'll get this set up in the coach. And we will give it a listen. We'll figure out how to give y'all a listen, but I can do that. Several gadgets going on here. So this, this comes to us from Senado. And this is the D1 3K5 megapixel dual band. That's the important thing. It's a dual band indoor security camera, meaning you don't have to go in and find out, you know, most of your Wi-Fi cameras. Now, most of your Wi-Fi cameras are operated off the 2.4. So there's, there's, when you set up a Wi-Fi network, you have, you actually, your router is, it has two bands. There's the 2.4 and then there's the five. Most of your technology of this nature only works on the 2.4 gigahertz and if if it's not already set up for you on your wi-fi you have to go in and figure out how to rename that 2.4 so your technology will work this camera works on the 5 gigahertz and i have just the place to put this because we have we, we have a need to have a camera in the RV so that we can leave and make sure that our dogs are okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna install this. I have one in there already, but it's a 2.4 and it, anyway. So we're gonna set this up. Here shortly, we're gonna set all this technology up and play with some gadgets. And it's going to be 104 degrees here today. So it'll be, be awesome to be inside. Yappy's really excited about the little camera. I've mounted it right there. This camera uses the Wansview app. It works off of five, the five gigahertz band. Starlink, uh, as far as I know, you don't have the ability to split out the 2.4 and the five hertz. So this camera being able to connect with the five hertz just is a game changer. So currently have it set up so that we can see it operational. And we're going to change... You see the, the messy desk. Huh? You doing? So I'm working with the headset. Uh, I have I've, I've built my own little laptop workstation here in, in the motorhome. This, this is where I do all my editing. And sometimes I have the TV playing weather broadcasts or whatever. I actually have a sound bar uh, and I use the HDMI to duplicate. That becomes a second monitor. 
So I didn't really want to mess with the, the audio setup on the TV for this video. The, this headphone set comes with three ways to connect it. You got a great instruction manual to tell you how to set it up. But you've got... It includes an optical. And that may not work the optical out may not work if you're plugged into the HDMI port on the TV and I'm plugged into the HDMI port on the TV it comes with RCA so on the back of your TV you you, you may have these RCA jacks I do but I got a sound bar plugged into there because that TV doesn't have a lot of bass and it's difficult to get back there. And also, these come with the same headphone jack as that. And so I have plugged the base. This is the charger. And that charger is actually plugged into my onboard 12 volt power system so I don't have to have the transformer block and I now have a place to set my headphones I had been hang just hanging them right up here it, you had to pardon the mess we're doing some we're doing some stuff up here <laughs> it looks a little messy because it is but we're working on that today but I can now put this right up here and when I'm not using the headphones, I can put them right up there like, like so, and they're charging. I like them. They're real comfortable. They're actually more comfortable than the ones that I have been using. So how do I need, I need to give you an example of how they sound. So let's do this. This little fountain is just, it's just such a nice piece. A great accent to our RV, full-time RV patio. So what a great accent to our patio. living space. We have peppercorn. And we have chunks of Himalayan sea salt. Excellent. What a fantastic housewarming gift. Yeah, these are awesome. I should go get the drop spreader, but I don't know. There's there's just some kind of satisfaction that goes along with with cranking that little handle and watching the seeds fly out.
wanted to get a shot of that this morning. Been a couple days. So far I don't I don't see any germination. But I thought that's a that's a beautiful sight right there. We got grass seed planted thanks to frontier seeds. We got a sprinkler system put in <laughs> thanks to Amazon and Dude RV. I do appreciate you spending some time with me today. Thank you for stopping by the homestead. If you've not already, I'd certainly appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That really helps with a small channel more than you ever know. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the bell as well. All of those help a small channel to grow and, and prosper. So your help would be most appreciated. And if you've been following along, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and attention. And for our patrons, your generosity is most appreciated. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?